Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Another beautiful morning that God has blessed us with, and we're looking forward to today and what it holds for us. And as a child of God, I'm hoping for the opportunity and looking for the opportunity to, to witness to someone about His goodness and His mercy. You know, I was thinking the other day about how God's promises, His, His promises to bless and to supply our needs and to take care of us are for those who serve Him and those who love Him and those who have accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior. See, salvation's free, but the promises of God are for those who love Him and serve Him. And, and, and sometimes that's a hard fact to accept. And I began to think about this world consists of the haves and the have-nots. The haves are those who live for the Lord, who serve the Lord with all their heart. They have a promise of a home in heaven. They have the promise of God walking with them every day to help them through their troubles and trials, to supply their needs, to meet the needs in their life today and supply the needs in their life and to take care of them, to protect them. The Bible says the angels encamped around them who serve the Lord and know the Lord and love the Lord. And for those who don't today, if you're one of those who have not give your heart to the Lord, then you're living in your, your heaven now. This is what you have. This is what all you'll have. And you don't have the promise of eternal life with the Lord. You have the promise of hell. But that's what he prepared for the devil and his angels and unfortunately those who do not serve him. But I read Psalms 119 verse 1. And I want you to listen to it. It says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. God's promises to pour out his blessings on those who have chosen to live by his word with all of its standards and directives. They will have his personal presence, bringing them strength, help, and protection. The Lord lives within those who serve him. The Lord's promises to love, to supply the need, to protect, to heal, is to those who serve him today as a child of God. And listen, if you're not living for him today, don't think that you can earn this or you can work your way into this. The Bible says, blessed are those who are in the way, who walk in the law, who walk in the promises, who walk in the word, who walk in the commandments of the Lord, who obey what he has asked us to do. Those are the ones that have his promises today. If you're a child of God, we ought to be rejoicing today, thanking him, praising him for all that he has promised to do for us. And I urge you, if you're not living the life for Christ, that you get on your knees, you cry out to God, you ask for forgiveness, that you too may have the promises that the God has full promised in his word. And I can tell you this, God has never made a promise and not kept it. God has kept every promise that he has ever made to us today as children of God. I pray today that this message will let you know that if you're a child of God, bless are you. Praise the Lord, glorify his name, knowing that he's going to help you and take care of you. If you're not, I pray today that you will get on your knees. You will pray and ask God to come into your life that you too may have the promises that are in his word for you in your life today. May God bless you.